Hey guys, episode 13 of the iSupport Folio series. A uh, bit of a crash this week in uh, gold price. Uh, so, seen about 10% loss on the gold and silver positions here. Um, thinking this is sort of dollar having a, a bit of a retracement back up. Uh, sort of been falling the last couple of months. Um, and it's starting to rise back up again. So gold has sort of gone down. A um, few sort of research um, sources I've been looking at is sort of saying uh, it's going to continue maybe going down until sort of early October. Uh, but I don't really want to get out um, in case they're wrong, to be honest. Uh, so like my Marion gold and silver... Uh, it's down about sort of ten percent this week, and the BlackRock uh, is down slightly less, about eight uh, percent. So this was at seventy three thousand uh, last week, um, but yeah, if that's it, then it was down seventy. It was down to sixty four uh, a couple of days ago, and it's sort of come back a little. So if this is uh, sort of the worst of it, or it might go down to sixty and then start rising up again towards uh, sort of the end of the year, going into the US election as well. Um, so we're expecting a bit of volatility, uh, sort of COVID cases rising again uh, around Europe and uh, sort of still persistent in America. So could sort of get a, a slower drop in the stock market. Now we know uh, kind of what it is. I don't think you'll get a flash sort of crash like we had in March um, and I would expect sort of in the next few months a uh, a slower downturn in the stock market would be better for gold uh, so continuing the plan on selling out the gold once it goes higher in the stocks uh, so yeah over to trading 212 again bit of a uh, downturn in this portfolio this week, uh, the gold and silver um, stocks taking a bit of a hammering. Uh, the Barrett Gold sort of down not too much, 4%. Um, some of the other stocks sort of holding up quite well. Uh, First Majestic Silver though, 20%. Uh, it's always going to be sort of basically... Um, it's going to go down even more than silver, physical silver, which goes e down even more than gold. So you get the upside and you get the downside, but that's fine. Sort of long term, still 38, 37% up. So happy with that. The S&P gold producers down about 7%. So again, a little bit more than sort of the bigger miners like Barrick. Uh, but... That should be fine. Um, Keir Group, one of still one of my uh, sort of big movers down, um, fifteen percent down this week. Did go lower, um, but yeah, still confident with them longer term. And New River Reit still going down twenty five percent in the last month, um, four percent down, five percent down this week. Um, but again. Still think if we're not going into too much of a lockdown in Britain, then hopefully they should start getting their rent paid and <coughs> eventually paying their distribution. Um, and yeah, my poly metals sort of come down a little over the last week. Um, four point seven percent. It's not too bad. And there's a dividend coming for this. Uh, fairly soon, so with a four and a half thousand in there, should be a reasonable dividend. Um, God, Rolls Royce really sort of taking a hit, fifteen percent uh, this week, thirty eight percent in the month. Uh, yeah, maybe thinking this was a mistake, but I don't know. I still think they'll uh, they'll bounce back from this. They've got a Sort of somewhat of a monopoly on their market. Um, so still happy with them, really. Um, Shell, uh, 
I have sold out a little of and moved it over to my invest account. Um, you'll see a little later right down the bottom. Um, finally caved and bought a share of Tesla. Just seems like you're swimming against the tide if you're not uh, invested in them. So I wanted this in the ISA in case it sort of goes mad. I haven't got to worry about capital gains tax. So I sold a bit of Shell, put that money into Shell in my invest account and bought the share of Tesla um, in here. So any gains are protected and just keep that there. Might add to it if it goes down a bit or doesn't go up a bit or doesn't go up too much. Um, and yeah, and there's Sylvania Platinum uh, down a little bit this week, got 10%. Again, similar with uh, the others, very volatile. And Taylor Wimpy, um, just down a little, been sort of very volatile around the, the one pound mark. Um, still waiting for them to sort of recommence their dividend uh, and I think that'll bode well for them still got a strong balance sheet and uh, so yeah you got to uh, take these rough weeks could be another couple of rough weeks um, but I think this portfolio will still do well uh, sort of looking at the the max chart still only put in 20,000 in here uh, sort of in since April, so I'm up three thousand. Um and yeah, this is my sort of portfolio. I wasn't expecting to be up because I am averaging down on stocks that I want to be in long term. So wasn't expecting this to be in too much of a profit just yet. Uh, same with the invest account. Really, uh, got two thousand. 200 in there now i'm actually down overall because i've got no gold or silver miners or anything in there there's nothing sort of pumping up the uh the gains basically it's just the four four stocks glaxo care shell and taylor wimpy sort of same as i've got in my isa uh, but these are positions that i want to build up longer term uh sort of well except care um, that was more a, maybe a one year uh, bet that they'll go back up um, but Shell uh, Taylor Wimpy and Glaxo uh, I'm looking to sort of hold for the retirement portfolio basically um, probably about £5,000 of each uh, so yeah I'm going to be averaging down and buying sort of whenever I can uh, during this downturn certainly uh, so I expect this portfolio to be, this part of the portfolio, the invest side will probably continue to be either round about break even or maybe a little bit down. Uh, but this is sort of five years, ten years plus. So uh, no problems there. Yeah, and that's that's basically the portfolio. So down to 91k, I think, this week. Um yeah, could be down further in the next couple of weeks, but you never know. See how it goes. So leave your thoughts in the uh, comments below and uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.